So let me ask you this. How many times do you think Wizards of the Coast will reprint the same cards over and over and over again? The answer to that question is infinite times whenever they need to sell a new commander set, a reprint set, whatever the set is called, you can be sure that there will be reprints. Anything over $20 will be in the set. Maybe it has new artwork, maybe it does not, uh, maybe it is a new card for Sliver Deck. That's all fine and good, but honestly, this is probably one of the most crazy things in Magic the Gathering is how over the past four years they reprint every single valuable card. Uh, it used to be that people would joke, oh, which the coast doesn't um, look at the secondary market because that would be gambling, right? So they looked at the secondary market and picked all the most expensive cards and put it in packs. Obviously, that's promoting gambling because then people will try to buy the packs to open those expensive, quote, cards. Um, the secret layers are another attempt to really manipulate the secondary market because then that sets the bottom of uh, even if you don't like the artwork, the card is a real card, right? It is a duplicate. It's a, a reprint. Even with different artwork, you can still use it like the normal card. I'm basically past the point where nothing, uh, unless it's on the reserve list, and I say this, I say this, um, you know, I, I say this with some trepidation because obviously with Magic 30th, uh, we have seen that cards on the reserve list can be absolutely reprinted as well. So there's no guarantee that just because on the reserve list it won't be reprinted in some manner with the right back or the wrong back with a different color palette. Who knows? Maybe the extended artwork. Um, there is not much value to find in Magic the Gathering because even if you did invest in this card and that card, they would just reprint it to the ground. I mean, they're going to reprint a better looking version of the card, you know, full art, art, you know, whatever it is. And that's what they're going to do. That's what they love. How many times do they need to reprint Extangre? That used to be $8 or $10 uncommon. It truly, I mean, these cards used to be expensive. Um, you laugh now, but it was no laughing. I mean, there was actually desirable cards. How many times do you have to print Doubling Season? Have we said? What do we guys think? Degree of Pain, Toxic Dalus. These cards used to be chase cards, and now they're just kind of bulk, bulk mythics, bulk rares, on on the same level of Tamagoyf or Liliana of Last Hope. I mean, there's almost not, like here we have um, the 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 Arbiter, the Hedge, the Grand Hedge, or something, the Great Hedge. That card is one of the reasons that you would want to have um, older pa older packs of maybe Collector's Edition or Throne of, Throne of the Aldrin. But now there's no point. There's literally no point in buying any standard set because they're just going to reprint the card. And when they reprint the card, it'll have so much loyal retainer. Like, man, I mean, Nahari got... I mean, does these, do these cards really need to be reprinted? Like... Couldn't you come up with new cards that were similar? This will devastate Magic the Gathering. Um, and I think people don't really understand yet what this means. Because your Magic collection, until you go to sell it, you don't know. But once you go to sell it and somebody says, Oh, well, um, did you know that card that you're trying to sell me? Liliana Last Hope is not a $40 card. Oh, no, I did not know. Well, how much is it? Oh, it's five bucks. Retail. Oh, hmm. Okay. Um, this is a very, very, you know, it's the conversations get harder as more people need money. But these cards are not worth money right now. They're just simply not. Because even if I buy them, they're just going to be reprinted the next set and the next set and the next set. And how many? It's not only the reprints in one set. It's the amount of reprinted sets. I said it. It is the number of reprinted sets. This is, you know, I mean, 
for a lack of a better word, like you, you Savage beating got reprinted, a Grand Abolisher for the 18th umpteen time, Psychonic Rift for the umpteen time. I mean, every single one of these cards is a reprint. And at the end of the day, like if that's all your game has to offer, then your game has to offer zero because there's no creativity. There's no, there's nothing. I mean, I, I look at this and I really think about how far Magic the Gathering has gone. Here you have Kutar's Wrath, which is a com uncommon now from a rare. I mean, what what are we even talking about here? What are we talking about right now? There's no value in it. Just buy these singles. A $300, $400 box, it might look good on paper right now, but once more people open the boxes, it's going to look terrible. There's Chromantic Lantern for the umpteen time Jissa, that Morphicon. Like, literally every stake in its grandmother got reprinted in the set. And you still got people who are going to sell you this set, even though they know it's bad for the game. Hey, man, there's Urza again, four times in four years. I mean, holy moly, like, why? Why? There's Torrential, Gearhulk, Ghost Chieftain, Maelstrom Wanderer, Evacuation for the umpteenth time, Land Tax. I remember Land Tax was a chase card. A lot of these Greek prints used to be chase cards that would sell the box. Now it's just like, oh. Whatever, it's been reprinted four times. Kozilak. I mean, this is pretty... They're going to eventually reprint the reserve list. I mean, just mark my word. I mean, I think it's going to happen. Because uh, of the reprint equity right now for a lot of these cards is zero. Because the price is so low on them. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.